Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to create a private endpoint using Azure PowerShell. If you remember we created a private endpoint, you can also call it a private link using the portal and I showed you how it works and how you connect it. Same way, we're going to create it using Azure PowerShell. I will mention the steps and the commands that you can also use at your end in the description of the video. So let me just log on to the portal and take it from there. Let me launch the cloud shell. Then I will run the set of commands. The sequence would be would remain same. Uh, we'll do the same operations that we did uh, while following the portal and the GUI. This is all the this is also the GUI, but here and we'll provision each and every resource through Azure PowerShell. I'm going to first of all create a new resource group, which will be called my resource group in the West Central US location. That is uh, succeeded. And now I will create a virtual network. Here it is with the address prefix of 10.0.0.0. slash 16 inside my resource group, which is called my resource group and that we created in the previous step. So let it create. Okay. This has accepted all the values. Now I will add a subnet to the virtual network that I created and the subnet address prefix would be 10.0.0.0 slash 24 and it will be called my subnet. Here it is. All right. Now I'll move on to the next step and now I will create a new virtual machine. And the last value that you see dash as a job, I've added it because uh, I can run another command and this command would be running at the back end. So it will create a new VM with the name my VM. I will place that in the my virtual network that I created and it will be in my subnet, which has 10 0 0 slash 24 with a public IP address, which would be called my public IP address. All right. I'm going to add the credentials and the password. Okay, so it will be running in the background. I'm going to run the next command. Next, I will create a logical server and a database. We'll paste this. All right. Then I will paste this. So this is the admin login and the password that I am adding in. So I'll add it. Do not try to copy and paste this password because I'm going to delete this after the lab is done. All right. Now I'm going to provision the SQL server. New AZ SQL Server Commandlet. I'm using the AZ module. You can use the Azure RM as well. Already exit. I'm going to change the value of my server. So I would go to the server name parameter and I change this. My SR server and I hit enter, it will be provisioned because I am selecting a unique name now. So let it run and I will wait and come back as soon as it is done. Okay, the logical server is created and I'm going to add a database to it. Please make sure that you have to mention the server name properly because I created the logical server with the name as my SR server. So I am going to mention the name properly and I'm, I changed the name of database to my DA because I didn't want to get the error again. So let it finish and I will come back. All right, this is completed. And now I will actually create a private endpoint. 
goes like this and then I will add the virtual network information from this and then I will add the subnet information so I've declared this private endpoint connection variable virtual network and subnet now I will actually run the new uh, zero private endpoint command accepting all these values there it is new az private endpoint I hit enter so it, Okay, so I have to disable the network policies as well. Give me a minute. Okay, so what I did was I disabled the network policies option running this AZ command. I will paste that as well in the description. And now I will run the private endpoint command again. This one, let's see how it goes this time this is completed successfully now i will create the private gns zone if you remember i have to update this as well with the private link .net value and it here it goes all right it is completed successfully as well i'll run the remaining commands now And now I will connect to my VM by getting the public IP like we did earlier. And I will do MSTS. And if you would see that, so it will enable open up the command prompt on any PowerShell. Do INS lookup. Your uh, my net. My server dot windows dot database dot net. And if you would go with the private link, do like this and hit. You see it, it's coming from myserserver.privatelink.database.windows.net and if you would install the SQL Server Management Studio on it and try to access it from this VM you will be able to access it without opening any firewall rules and ports like we would be we were able to do it. So I'm pasting these all commands in the video description so that you can also try it and please mention that in the comment section how did it go for you and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Have a good day ahead.